Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. The Pro Box card. The Pro Box card is always great. We're going to get into Lester Martinez uh, versus Joe Sean James in what's an intriguing fight, which I like the odds on. Uh, before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, follow me on all forms. Also, join the Patreon link. It's in the description. It's also in that little banner below. Guys, we are riding an incredible hot streak. Uh, we've hit the lock of the week six times uh, in a row. I've given the Patreons eight straight locks that have all hit all, all parlays. Um, join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. It is a money maker. No one in the world does this better than I do. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh you get the lock of the week. You get asked to book you anything. You can request a fight. Uh, you get the updated prop bets. Like, there's no props out for this yet. If they do drop the props, join the Patreon. Come on over. I'll show you how to make money on that as well. And also subscribe to the other Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. This is uh all right. Let's let's get let's get into the show. Let's get into the show. Lester Martinez. Where's he from? Argentina? Is that where he's from? Guatemala. He's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. Uh, good power. Physically strong. I like this prospect. We've seen him a, a couple of times on uh, this Pro Box series. 18-0, 15 knockouts. We saw him beat Gangura, uh, and we saw him beat uh, Lucas De Abreu. Isaiah Stein, he beat, I think that was on Showbox, right? He beat, uh, I believe so. This is a good-looking prospect. This is a guy who can go far. Good power, throws hard. He likes to bang in the center of the ring, and that, that's so does Joe Sean, and, and that's not going to do well for, for James. Uh, he throws in between your shots. He punches with you. He's really good at placing his punches. Really good at placing his punches, and he punches with you. He's an excellent counter puncher. He's got excellent timing. Not a ton of speed or movement, though. He stays behind a high guard. He gets hit quite a bit. You can hit him for sure. He's not difficult to counter, but he throws some nice counter shots. He, he, counter right is sharp and accurate. Good power, excellent gas tank. He doesn't fatigue. Really good timing. I like this fighter a lot. Heavy on a front foot guy. Stays behind his stays behind a high guard and throws in combination. He's pretty relentless. Pretty good volume. He's a good offensive fighter. He's a physical force. There's a little bit of I'm not saying he's as good as wrong with but I'm saying there's a little bit of stylistically, he's a little bit like that. Physically strong as an ox. He's willing to take one or two to get one, and his one's gonna dent you. He throws hard. He dent, his, his, his shots really dent you. He's good. He's a good offensive fighter. Doesn't offer a ton defensively, but he keeps. He stays behind a high guard usually. He does have a little bit of a bad habit at times of dropping it, but he he'll block a lot of shots. And he's like he's willing to hit you. He's he's willing to get hit to hit you. And ultimately, that's going to be it's going to be what it's going to be. Southpaw. Um, I'm sorry. All right. As far as Joe Sean James, Southpaw, long jab, long uses his jab. He doesn't really use his height and reach. He doesn't have a ton of speed. He doesn't have a ton of power. He's actually rather slow. He stands in with you. He stands in way more than you would think. Um, he's not a hyper mover. He's not a back foot guy. He's a standing in the center of the ring guy. He's got nice reflexes in the pocket. He can make you miss. He can slip a little bit. Uh, but he's not super fast. He doesn't have great movement. He's not out there running, which makes for a good fight, an entertaining fight. He shows his punches bad. Like he's, he's, his punches are, are deliberate, telegraphed, and there's not a lot on him. I, just, I, I don't, I don't like this prospect at all. He, he, he's done okay for himself. Like he's done respectable for himself. He done has. Like uh, if you look at. I, I, he's 9 0 and 2. He's got five knockouts. He's got a win over Von Alexander. He's got a first round knockout somehow over David Stevens, who's 13 0. He had two draws before that with uh, Javier Martinez and uh, Abacan. Like, 
I'm not sure how he's done all this. I look at him, I don't see anything I like about him. He's not fast, he's not powerful, he's, he telegraphs his punches, he doesn't have great movement, he doesn't have great footwork. There's just nothing excellent about him. He, he stalks with his jab. He stands in and trades, but he doesn't punch, but he's not a puncher. I, I'm. He uses a lot of feints. He uses his jab well, I guess. I, I don't see it. He doesn't commit to his shots. He doesn't throw with shots. His punches are slow and telegraph, like I said. Faints the whole fight. Like you can time this guy. You can have him. He fights the entire fight in close quarters. He's not a hitter. He's not a mover. He's not highly skilled on the inside. He doesn't have great uppercut short shots. I don't really get what there is to like about this guy. I'm, I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just not saying he's good. And I know he's won these fights, and I, somehow he's done it. So maybe he could do it again. I don't see it. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the at the odds on this fight. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's see how we're getting rich on this fight. All right, yeah, you ready? That's the Martinez minus five twenty five. Um, there's no props on this. Right, drop yet? Right, it's just the money line. This is a great fight to parlay with. I definitely like less than Martinez. Now, this is all over the place. It's got any, anywhere from four seventy five to five twenty five. Uh, but put put your money on this five twenty five. If a prop if a prop drops later on for the stoppage, we're going to take a look at that. I think there's a chance less than Martinez can stop him. Um, but I. Uh, Hundred dollar bet, we make you about twenty bucks. It's not great, it's not terrible, but it's something we can build a parlay around. If you want to build a parlay, bet less than Martinez. It's it's pretty it's pretty good odds. He's gonna win this fight. Joe Sean James doesn't move the needle for me at all. I less than Martinez. I like as a prospect a lot. I like him offensively. He can break it down. He can stop you quick. He can do a lot offensively. So this is a guy that I like a lot. Um, Joe Sean James, I just. Like I said, the, the reasons that I named, he stands in, can't hit, he doesn't move much, doesn't have great speed. I, I think this is fairly one-sided. If Joe Sean James wins this fight, I'm going to be shocked. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's the bet. Minus 525 on a money line. Makes 20 bucks. This is a great bet to parlay. You can build your parlay around this, throw a couple things in. Canelo by stoppage. If you want to go um, other fights on this, they're, 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 you can do that. Jacob Gomez is something you can parlay this with, but you can make money with this if you, if you play this right. Uh, it's Lester Martinez, minus 525. Great fight to add to your parlay or just, you know, load up on it and uh, make some money. Make what you can on, on, on the money line as a standalone bet. All right, y'all. Uh, September, September 11th, 2024. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Sorry, y'all. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on.